I'm sorry. No more of that. You're home. There's no reason to hold back. You just cry until you feel like stopping, my darling. Heavens knows there's nobody that's got more right to it. But you must think I'm... I think that you've come through this with tremendous courage. No, I'm not through it, Maeve. I'm not a... Oh, I don't know. Just help. Oh, darling, we we're all here going to help you. You've got your family and you've got your son. And you've got yourself, Delia, and you've got all the time in the world. That's all you need. Oh, Doctor. She was fine till she got here. Delia? Oh, no. <laughs> Watson. I'm sorry, Adam. Sorry? For what? I'm supposed to be all better. Why? Because you're out of the hospital? No. No, your first day home is very hard. You're weak and scared. And I should have told you. Oh, don't give me a shot. I'm not. I'm just gonna listen to your lungs. Technically, you're over the pneumonia, but your body's still recovering. Doctor, I think I'll go downstairs. Well, don't. No, no, dear. I'll just be in the kitchen. Just that far. It's not my body. It's, it's just this sadness. I feel so empty. <laughs> Tell me about seeing Prince Albert again. I went to say goodbye. I was frightened going there, walking in and looking at him, but he knew me and he made his friendly noise. He asked for a banana. He was locked up, so I couldn't be afraid of him anymore. In fact... In fact, you had good feelings towards him. Yes, I was really glad he was going to be going upstate with Owen. So Owen's been like a father to him. What is it, Delia? I'm still scared. Of what? I'm just not safe. Can we try hypnosis again? When you're feeling up to it, sure. I do now. Adam, if I can't feel safe here with Johnny and Maeve, there's no place. I'm afraid I'm going to be like this for the rest of my life. OK, all right. OK, relax. I'm back. Relax. We'll give it a shot. I'm paired with, I'm often told that the super couple is Dorian and Vicky. I don't think I'm that much like Will. Maybe I am. Will's got a really dark side to him. Maybe I have a little bit of that in me. I don't know. Robin and Jesse, the full story in their words. Soapography, today at 6, only on Soapnet. Hi, I'm Bree Williamson from One Life to Live. Watch me go from Jess to Tess and back again all in one day. Did I mention I fall in love with two gorgeous guys and have a baby along the way? Soapnet's got five episodes filled with the best of Jess and Tess. Believe me, you won't want to miss this. If it's not one thing, it's your mother. Saturday, May 13th, starting at 7. On Soapnet. Last fall, I moved into our dream house, and my allergies acted up. I tried to cover everything. I even took down my curtains. I don't recommend it. My doctor said that I developed new allergies. Where? My basement? Who knows what's down there? Are your allergy symptoms worse than before? You may have developed new allergies. That's why it's important to discuss all your symptoms with your doctor. He may suggest simple changes like using a dehumidifier or prescribe an allergy medicine or both. Zyrtec is the number one prescribed allergy medicine in the U.S. Ask your doctor if Zyrtec is right for you. It's approved to treat both indoor and outdoor allergies and even treats itching due to chronic hives. Zyrtec's most common side effects in adults include drowsiness, tiredness, and dry mouth. Lots of allergies, just one Zyrtec. Now that your taxes are done and one important deadline is behind you, I want to make sure you don't miss the next important deadline of May 15th. Hi, I'm Hal Linden. For Medicare prescription drug coverage you can count on, call Signature Rx right now. If you don't join by May 15th, 2006, you may have to pay a higher premium 
when you do join a Medicare prescription drug plan. Our representatives will explain everything simply and clearly. They can tell you what you'll pay and how much you will save at the pharmacy on the medication you take. Here's the best part. You may even qualify for additional savings from the government. So the best plan may cost a lot less than you think. With Signature Rx, you enroll with a company that has been one of the nation's leading health care benefit providers for over 80 years. I want to make sure you don't miss the next important deadline of May 15th. Take advantage of this opportunity and call Signature Rx now. 1-800-257-4300. Serious dark circles? For serious dark circles, there's only one Hylexin. Jill? Yeah? Two seconds, I'm almost ready. Hi. Hi. Well, have I ever seen that before? No. I bought this ages ago, but I've never worn it. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Yeah? Uh-huh. Well, I figured if Santa can come marry a little kid, I might as well wear a sexy, uh, camisole. <laughs> Want some wine? Put you in the wedding mood. No, thanks. Sure. You're, uh, actually looking forward to this, huh? Well, I figure as long as I'm invited, I might as well enjoy myself. I wonder why I was invited. Friend of the grooms? <laughs> sister of the uh, ex-wife? <laughs> Don't forget, sister of the best man. You know, it's funny when you think about it. What's done and what isn't done. It's a joke. Then again, Roger always said that you can do absolutely anything you want as long as you're stylish about it. So if you want to marry a little girl, you just throw a lavish party, invite all your best critics, and before you know it, they'll all be in line, ready and waiting to kiss the bride. And why not? Why the hell not? Because this particular little girl is a liar and a cheat, and Seneca's a fool not to see it. If I weren't straight down the line about practicing what I preach, I wouldn't go near this wedding, this funeral. Wait a minute, wait. See what? You lost me. Forget it. No, tell me. Seneca knows what kind of person she is. He knows she got pregnant on purpose. You told me that yourself, and he still wants to marry her. No, I said that Seneca admits that she might have done it on purpose, but what he wants is the baby. Oh. Forget about it. Finish getting dressed. Frank's probably waiting for us already. Frank, that's what it is. What? You and Frank and all the marriage anxieties. Why else would you bite my head off? Come on, let's go. I don't know if I can. You have to. You have to practice what you preach. And I think that means that you don't say anything about who Seneca chooses. And he doesn't say anything about you and Frank, et cetera, et cetera. Faith. Delicious what? Could I talk to you for a minute? Sure. What? Something happened last night. I've decided that I wasn't going to do anything about it, but I'm not like a brother. I can't forget what I know. I can't get this out of my mind. Well, tell me. Kim's not pregnant. She never was. And Seneca? He has no idea. She gave him a, a fake lab report. Jill, No, what? no, wait a minute. But I know that he wants to marry her. <sighs> it's not my business to interfere. You're not going to tell him? That's up to her to do. I'm happy. Of course you are getting what you think you want. You know, the trouble with most people is, is that they won't take risks. I will. I took a big risk to get Seneca, and I won. That's the secret. Be smart. Be willing to gamble. 
And you can have absolutely everything your little heart desires. You're not married yet, Kim. You're sleeping, remembering, going back. Tell me what you see. I'm there. He's angry with me. His eyes. Who is he? The young master. He's looking at me like he'll kill me. I don't know what Sorry, I did. I don't understand. Go and pack your belongings and be out of this house within the hour. I can't. I have nowhere else to go. You should have thought of that before you came in here. I only came because you rang. I have no intention of discussing this any further. I don't know what I did. I'm not bad. I want to stay. If you leave quickly and quietly, I will not speak a word of this to him. Please. But if you are still here when I return, I shall tell him everything, and he will believe me. And then he will deal with you. Don't send me away. All I did was... You called for me. You're the one. Goodbye. Don't leave me alone with him. C come back. All you did was what? No. No. Describe what you see, Delia. He's coming. He can't find me in here. I have to hide. Maybe he'll pass by. Oh, please, God, let him pass by. Up. He Delia, was wake up. You were dreaming, Delia. You were hypnotized. Anything you dreamed, it's not happening now. Dream? Yes. Adam, I was... What? Oh... You were terrified. Do you know why? No, tell me. You don't remember anything. I... Just... All this mystery comes out in these sessions with you. What does this mean? Delia, I... I can only help you put it together. I shouldn't tell you. Am I insane? Is that it? No, no. You, uh, you have some memories or some fantasies that, that are so real to you, you seem to relive them in hypnosis. But your sanity's not in question, not in the least. Well, what did I relive just now? I don't care if it blocks me or whatever you said the other day. I, I have to know. I'm going to tell you a story. It takes place about the turn of the century in a large, very wealthy home with a staff full of servants. There's a housekeeper who's in charge. She's a, a no-nonsense woman who's basically warm and motherly, especially to a young girl she hires as a maid. Two people live in the house. A man and his son, they're referred by the servants as the master and the young master. Now, the son is very kind and charming to the new maid at first. She's shy, she doesn't say very much, but secretly she likes him. It's different with the master of the house. He frightens her terribly. One day she's watching the fire and she's so anxious she burns her hand. What are you thinking? Don't tell me the rest of the story. All right. And let's don't do this hypnosis any, anymore for a while. I mean, I feel better after, but <sighs> deeper down, something gets upset, and I just want to leave it alone for a while. You understand? It's not you. Oh, sure. 
And I'm inclined to agree with you. We have to go at your pace. We can always start again. Thank you. No, really. You're welcome. You'll be all right now. You, uh... Just take naps every day and, uh, stick to some regular meals and you'll be fine. Yeah. Tell Roger that. That I'll be fine. I mean, not that he cares, but I... Delia, he cares deeply. I'll talk to you later. Sofnet reveals everything. Hosted by Linda Dano and Lisa Rinna, plus Michael Bruno. Sofnet Daytime Emmys unzipped. Today at 11, only on Sofnet. When Wally challenges Sean Kanan. Here we go. Oh. Sean proves he's a survivor on the court. I think my shoe's caught there. And off. Here it is. I'm 22 years old, strong as a bull, and I'm bleeding to death. What happened? Hear about his close call with death when Wally spends one day with Sean Kanan. Today at 6.30, only on SoapNet. What happens when 10 strangers in one house all want the same thing? I want to be a soap star. I want to be a soap star. I adore arguing. And I hate confrontation. Woo! We're going to have a party. Why be rude? I'm not going to let anyone stop me. I'm here to win. Bring it on. Who will you root for? A new season of I Want to Be a Soap Star premieres Thursday, June 8th at 11. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Wouldn't it be great if your insides could be this happy? They can with new old brand yogurt bites. Tasty golden bran flakes plus yogurt coated oat clusters. And just one serving provides 40% of your daily fiber needs. Yeah! So don't make us unhappy. We know where you live. <laughs> if you're happy, new you old brand yogurt like bites. Yes. Get happy inside. It's new. Get the best jokes directly on your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> They're hilarious. Write a text message with the word joke to the number 53030 and press send. They're so funny. We'll make your sense of humor even better. <laughs> Impress your friends. Make them laugh. Let the joke of the day be your joy of the day. Do it now. Grab your phone and text the message joke to the number 53030. Do you love spending hours working out at the gym? If you do, the Total Gym is not for you. But if you want one of the fastest, most effective workouts ever, then the Total Gym is for you. For our 10th anniversary, we have an incredible deal. You can try the Total Gym in your home for an entire month, risk-free. We'll ship you a Total Gym at our expense. If you don't see a remarkable change, just send it back, and we'll return every penny you were charged. But if you're like most of us, once you try it, you'll never want to be without it again. Just one year on the Total Gym and I've lost 45 pounds. So take our risk-free challenge and get the body you've always wanted. Why go to the gym when you can own one? Call the number on your screen for our anniversary special. Try the Total Gym in your home risk-free for 60 days. We'll pay shipping and handling. Call now. If you think $4 doesn't go very far, wait till you see where it takes your television with DirecTV. Now, you can add over 20 exciting channels of awesome entertainment, amazing sports, really cool kids, and fascinating educational programming. Just transform your Total Choice package into Total Choice Plus for as little as $4 more per month. That's incredible value. Upgrade to Total Choice Plus programming today. Visit DirecTV.com or call 1-800-531-5000. Delia, I look at her sleeping, she's three years old, and I feel just as sorry for her now as I did then. It's amazing. Yeah, she gets to me, too. Uh, Sit down, chat with me for a minute. Uh, Tom, did you file your income tax a month ago? Uh, I gotta recheck these numbers. Uh, every day. <laughs> That's better. Oh, oh, there's been so many things I've been wanting to tell you, and now I can't think of where to start. Like what? What'd I miss? Oh, not that. <laughs> It's just, I had a conversation with Gillian last night, and it made me very uneasy. About? About her and Francis. Oh. No, there's no problem, John. It's just that 
Well, she's not even called Father McShane yet. Well, she wants to make sure she gets her New York State divorce. Yes, but they can still plan it where they're going to live and when they're going to be married and how little John is going to fit in. I mean, Lord, if they move five blocks north, that child is in another school district. Uh, so what? He's going to St. A's in the fall that anyway. That isn't the point, John. They're not making plans. I mean, Lord. I mean, I asked her for a guest list for the reception. She said, muttered something about being so busy these days. Well, she has been busy. Now, what are you trying to say to me? That it's not going to happen? That they've been seeing each other forever and ever, no, but now no, some... No, no, no. They love each other. They're going to be married. It's just been... They've been waiting so long. Little John has been waiting so long. I, I really feel for that boy. Oh, I worry about everybody, I suppose. Everybody, but especially Siobhan now, huh? Certainly. Joe coming here with his happy news. I tell you, I know you hardly slept a wink last night. Well, I don't like the idea of her being out of touch for months. I brought that comb and set up to her yesterday at the hospital, and I felt... What, what, what? That's what it was that I wanted to tell you. Yeah. I brought that... Vanity set that Tiso gave her for Christmas over there. And I've looked at that thing a hundred times, but I never saw the initials before. John, E-B-B. -B. What? E-B-B. -B. Oh, dear Lord. That's right. Now, there can't be any connection with Mary. My Mary was dead before Christmas. She never even saw that set, but still, it gave me a chill. E-B-B, -B, you sure? Yes, Jack saw it. He was also starting. Maybe there is a connection. No, that's impossible. What if Mary found out something? Evidence against Tiso. What if she was trying to tell you, oh, trying to warn John, you? John, don't let your imagination run away. I only mention because so many things strange are happening around here. What are these? Little John's drawing? Yeah, he did these today. The child is holding in so much. He needs more than us. He needs his father and a mother. Hey. Come in, dear. Next, Lisa and Ty dish with the biggest stars on SoapNet's original Soap Talk. Then see who's falling in love or in bed with a double play of Melrose. Soap superstars Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway host Soap Talk. Each episode, they put your favorite soap stars in the spotlight and on the spot. Oh my God, he was a jerk. <laughs> Watch Soap Talk, coming up next. It's the daily talk show only SoapNet can do. Catch Victor's latest shakeup on back-to-back -back episodes of The Young and the Restless. Wait just a minute. Uh, to make it perfectly clear, from now on and for the foreseeable future, I will take back the reins of Newman Enterprises. Watch Monday through Friday's episodes, tonight starting at 7 on SoapNet. 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 The new way to watch soaps. Every weeknight, Soapnet's got same-day episodes of all your favorite soaps. Now you can watch a show at night. What an amazing thing. The Young and the Restless. All my children. One life to live. General Hospital. Days of our lives. Today's episodes, tonight. Only on Soapnet. Five big shows. Five full hours. Five nights a week. Add a little bit of spice to your life. On Soapnet. Keep up to date with all your favorite soaps. Soapnet. The new way to watch soaps. Now that your taxes are done and one important deadline is behind you, I want to make sure you don't miss the next important deadline of May 15th. Hi, I'm Hal Linden. For Medicare prescription drug coverage you can count on, call Signature Rx right now. If you don't join by May 15th, 2006, you may have to pay a higher premium when you do join a Medicare prescription drug plan. Our representatives will explain everything simply and clearly. They can tell you what you'll pay, and how much you will save at the pharmacy on the medication you take. Here's the best part. You may even qualify for additional savings from the government. So the best plan may cost a lot less than you think. With Signature Rx, you enroll with a company that has been one of the nation's leading health care benefit providers for over 80 years. I want to make sure you don't miss the next important deadline of May 15th. Take advantage of this opportunity and call Signature Rx now. 1-800-257-4300. Mother, what is with you? You've decorated the place. The kitchen is full of maids and caterers. The guests will be here any minute. Are you nervous? You, you shouldn't be. You look stunning. Yes, I prefer to look stunning in difficult situations. 
I don't get it. Yesterday, you were fine. You said as long as it made me happy. Well, yesterday was a special effort. I'm afraid I haven't been able to uh, stay with it. Well, what a shame. I hope it won't spoil the party for you. Or anybody else. I'm not going to tell Seneca, Kim. Good, that's just what I wanted to hear. I want you to do it. Okay, and while I'm at it, can I tell him about those marvelous papers of yours? Or how about this? The minute the judge says, I now pronounce you man and wife, I whip around and shout, my mother framed Frank Ryan. She's the one who got him kicked out of the Senate. Imagine, we'd be able to see Frank's expression up close. And then the judge would take you out the door. Wow. Tomorrow, or maybe the next week or the next month, I'll tell Seneca that the lab made a mistake and we'll live happily ever after. Don't mention it again, Mother. He'll be getting here ahead of everybody else. You can take him into the study and tell him point blank. I'll handle the rest of the guests. You won't have to Stop! face any... I've never played a bride before. I want to do the part justice. Don't upset me anymore. I don't mean to upset you. I'm so glad. Kim, don't marry him. All right. And these are my last words on the subject. I am not going to end up like you. You've lied and manipulated and made yourself miserable. I operate the same way, but I make myself happy. It works for me. A few tears of joy would be nice when I take my vows. Can you manage that? I'll be able to manage so much more than just that. Lovely. Sobs would be even better. Just think of yourself in prison. That might help. Who else knows? Wait, 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 how'd you find all this out? Roger invited me to Lem's for dinner. Ray and Kimberly were at the next table. I overheard her congratulating herself. I mean, they didn't see us. Ray? Oh, well, then I'm sure she told Seneca. I know she's opposed to this marriage. Roger said she's absolutely appalled. She probably ran but right Faith, over and... Has the wedding been canceled? Roger won't get involved. Seneca's his boss. He's not going to be the messenger of bad news. You've decided to definitely not say anything. I can't. Okay, you can. That's that. I was I supposed to argue with you or blame myself? Oh, please. I may bite your head off, but I don't use you. This is my information. Roger didn't even overhear the conversation. I know if anyone has to go to Seneca, it's me. But I tried a little bit of that yesterday. He specifically invited me out of his life, told me not to comment on any aspect of his relationship with Kimberly. Fine! Listen, if I were in his shoes, I wouldn't want... I would feel the same way. And I'll tell you another thing. If that was me, and Frank had a secret, or another lover, or something, I would not want Seneca to step in and rescue me. So there's nothing more to say. <laughs> Except I have to get through this damn wedding! Would you want me to send you regrets? I could tell him you had a, a last-minute trial. No, I think not. I'm sorry. You look beautiful. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Something could still happen. Don't worry. Let's go. Dum, Let's go. dum, dum. dum. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa and Ty, they love to talk, they love to tease, and they love soaps. Get the latest on the hottest soap stars, coolest trends, and juiciest celeb facts. Catch Soap Talk, coming up next on SoapNet.